Hey, let's play the second game for today. Playing as Black against Professor 22820. I'm going to play my standard opening. I'm going to try more or less just to blitz it out. We'll see how that goes. Um, okay, so I'm getting uh, one of these fried liver situations. Yep. Okay. So. Um, can somebody in the comments please tell me the right move to play in this position here? So I'm dying to know. I think what I should have done was put a pawn on h6. I think that's what I should have done. Um, but I think the only way to salvage this or no wait 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 I just get a free queen or a free knight out of this yeah I got a free knight out of this right okay double check the lines diagonals bishop is blocked okay, okay. just kidding I guess I guess that's the move huh <laughs> okay I fall into this move so I fall into this move so many times probably twice in the past week where the pawn comes out i get really comfortable with the queen here and i always 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 forget to notice the dark square bishop here so what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to go take g2 pawn and i'm going to go cause a world of hurt on his king side okay that's fine i'm just going to wreak havoc over here h2 Smell you later. Okay. There's probably a really fast way to win here, but I don't know what it is. Um, actually, I guess I could take this check and then do something. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for the rook there, this would actually just be plain checkmate. Um, let's see. Do I just sack this? No, I don't really want to sack it, huh? Let's think about this. Let's check here, check there. I don't want to get, like, too comfortable. Yeah, there's not really any, like, sense in sacking this. I mean, I'm, I have a really big advantage, so, um... Obviously, I want to utilize it, but I don't want to get too comfortable um, as well. Mm, can I win? Can I win here? Mm, let's think about what he has going on in the middle. Let's think about the best way to win here. Think, let's think. I don't want my queen hanging off he uh, out here in Lala Land either. I think I'll just play a developing move. There may have been something better that I could have played in the center there. Um, I'll just exchange pieces, honestly. Not a big deal. I'm so far ahead that I, I just really don't mind. Surprise that he took with what he took with. But that's okay. So obviously we need to move the knight. I mean, it is defended, so do I really care? I mean, I do kind of care, huh? Okay, I always just have to be mindful of my queen here. Kind of saw that coming, so um, it looks like my knight's a bit trapped. So I only have one good move with my knight. Um, looks like I'm just forced back here. He'll probably go here. C5, yeah, okay, I was kind of expecting that. 
Um, I think I can just move back to d5. Mm, no. Maybe d d6. Or excuse me, back to d4. Maybe just back here is the play. At some point, I do want to point my light square bishop uh, down the face of his rook here. Do some intimidation stuff, but I also want to play safe. I don't want to overextend. Okay. Okay. I'll go for the safe move here. It looks like his bishop is really just pinned. Um, he really has nowhere to go with his bishop. Um, so for the sake of castling, I'll take with the knight. Should I take with the knight or just take with the king here? I think I'll just take with the knight. Um, just for the sake of castling. This seems like a fine move. I think my next move is going to be d6 pawn. Maybe I do castle at some point. Really don't want to lose this one on time. Okay, he's preparing something. Um, I do have check here. I do have check, but so where does he go? He goes e2, I go e5, and then I can always just trade queens off. I think I'll go for the check. I think this is okay. He can always block with the bishop. Um, and he takes with the queen, hopefully. Hmm. You know, honestly, I'm up so far. I'm just okay to trade. I'm okay to trade here. And what I'll do here is... Okay, so where's he pointing there? Okay, so h6 is defended. He can't go here. Um, I'll, and also, I need to defend this pawn. So I'll open up this line. Or I'll attack his rook, rather. might be worth castling long at this point, or maybe not. Maybe it's worth getting the uh, kingside rook kind of more centralized. Okay. Um, let's see, so do I have a check here? I do have a check. I can always trade. Hmm. Trade or check. I think I'd rather just trade. All right, excuse me, I'd rather check. Honestly, trade was probably the play there since I'm up seven points, but I have a plan here. If he defends, I'll trade. He'll take with the uh, with the king on d2, and then I can always just snag a rook. But then he does recapture too, so he does recapture with the rook, but it's okay. Um, let's see, is there anything else I can do here? Hmm. I think this is just a fair play. Yeah, this is fine. Um, so he takes here, um, let's see, okay, at this point I really just have to just play fast. Let's see, defended. Hmm. 
I'll just break his pawns up. Okay, that's fine. Can always support that. Okay, still supported. Now he's got three awkward pawn islands. Um, that's fine. He goes here, I go there. Create a pawn chain. I'll just castle. Sure. Maybe I should have let him um, take that, honestly. Well, I have a free pawn here now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. He'll probably go here. I might just defend with the king. That's fine. Uh, that was a free pawn, but whatever. Yeah, okay, nice GG. Nice, let's go into the game review. I feel like I played that pretty well. Um, maybe I had mate there at some point. Okay, so it doesn't look like I had mate. Um, I didn't have any mistakes, misses, or blunders, which I'm happy about. A few inaccurate moves. Um, lots of best moves and a great move, so I think I played that pretty well. Yeah, so it looks like he really just had one bad blunder that I'm kind of threw it away for him. So let's take a look. Okay, e4, e5, f3 c6 yeah really so it just fell apart for him here um it looks like he just played this one move too early um obviously he just didn't realize that uh his knight was hanging here no worries happens to me literally all the time <laughs> professor 22802 <laughs> so i feel like so I've been burned by this a lot. I know I mentioned it previously, but I've been men I've been burned by um, pawn d3 quite a few times, and then I always forget that this bishop has eyes on the queen. So pain is a great teacher, and I've learned to keep an eye out for that. <laughs> so I am learning. I think this move was a little bit too aggressive, just taking the pawn. Um, it wasn't an active threat or anything. So I miss an opportunity to win a queen. That's probably an engine line that's way over my head at this point. Okay, he plays c3, I play f6, that's good. So that's just developing moves. The idea behind the trade here was that I'm already up a piece, so I'm okay to trade. Interesting, so engine wants, cool. I think I had this um, same concept like five or six games ago in the videos where I jumped the knight into the center of the board even though he was being attacked um, and the engine also did recommend moving him backwards and the reason for that I suppose is because it um, attacks the bishop at the same time whereas here I mean yeah this creates like a little outpost you know where it defends a lot of squares but it's not attacking any threats like it's not threatening anything but it is defending a lot of squares and it was defended twice that was kind of my reasoning there but this is the best move though and then really he i'm surprised the best line is not for him to retreat his d5 bishop. I'm surprised about that. Hmm. So engine recommends d2, but then this seems like a really free capture. Hmm. Engine, what are you on about? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. E6. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn and I must move or be captured. Interesting. 
I did move it to B5. It was safe. Um, I'm surprised this is the best. I know it's defended twice, but hmm. I wonder what the reasoning for this is. Oh, that's it. Okay. Hmm. I'm not too interested in the continuation of this. I thought the move that I played was reasonable. Oh, now it wants me to jump back to D4. Okay. A3 is an inaccuracy. Yeah, I thought this move was a little bit too passive. And then that just trades a bishop for a pawn. Um, this moves the bishop to a safe square. A central safe square. So this is check. He blocks. Looks like the engine agrees with the trade. Ugh. Hate when I pushed a down um, arrow on that. Um, let me go back. Okay, so he takes with the queen. That's good. Recaptures. More, more corrector. B6 is good. Yeah, I really wanted to get this bishop out here. That was kind of the idea. Good eye. Oh, I didn't actually notice that it was trapped. But I just noticed that I wanted to get it out of the way. So I could go on to the first rank if possible. Hmm. Yeah, this is an interesting move. Um, I think he was hoping that I would take his rook and I wouldn't notice the queen here. Uh, but luckily, I didn't fall for that, so I'm happy about that. Okay. What would the engine say if I just captured the queen here? I still have a really big advantage. Obviously, he only has one sensible move there. And then I win a rook. And then I win a pawn. And really, we kind of just end up in more or less the same position. Um, so it looks like I kind of just took a roundabout way to get to the same place that we were at. Yeah, I mean, this is the exact line that uh, Stockfish recommended, but I just took a few different steps to get there, so that makes sense. And then I didn't make any egregious moves in the end game. Engine wants to get the king out a little bit sooner. I think I had some free pawns here, so this is the best move. Getting the king out. Taking the pawn. Hmm. I thought also just taking this pawn would have been okay. Probably the best move as well. Yeah, it looks like I just did it in a little bit of a weird order there. Um, but that's fine. At this point, it was kind of GG. Mate in 18, I would have found that. like No problem, obviously. I'm joking, of course. But um, yeah, thanks guys for watching. This was a fun game. There was some kind of clever checks there, kind of towards the end. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you guys tomorrow.